What's up? What's popping? What's cracking? What's shaking? What's breaking? What's bracking? My name is Brielle, and welcome to my channel. So, guys have never seen my face before. Um, get a good look. Get a good look. Because I'm here. It is so hot. It's, it's hotter than a witch's coochie. I'm telling it is hotter than a witch's coochie out here for no reason. But let's pretend that that sweat is glow. Okay. Let's pretend that sweat is glow. Let's pretend. Anyway, anyway. So, today, I will be bringing you guys a freshman advice video. And y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what I'm about. Only thing y'all know is that my name is Brielle and that I am pretty. Ha! <laughs> That's the only thing you guys know. And also, I'm a high school senior, so I know a little something. I know a little, you know, you know what I'm saying? So today I'm bringing freshman advice from me to you. A little welcome to my channel. So let's get into it. If you've liked what you've seen so far, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Get into these freshman advice. And let's get into the freshman advice. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, academically. So basically, I have to hurry up. The sun is setting, baby. The sun is setting. But first, you need to stay organized. You are incoming freshmen. You need to stay organized. And that means getting a planner. That means getting um, an accordion folder. Did I get a planner? Did I get an accordion folder? No. But... You can because you get a planner as soon as you know a test is coming, you write it down. As soon as you get papers and new information, you write that down. So you stay on top of your work and you check it daily. You know what I'm saying? And you get um, highlighters, pens to make it look colorful so you want to look back at your notes. Y'all. Do not OD on school supplies. Everything on that list you do not need to get. Everything on that list you do not need to get. You don't need to get um, autumn folders. You get that accordion folder like I said. You don't need to get all them damn supplies. Your book bag, you do not need to look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. No, you do not. No, ma'am. You do not need to look like that. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it cute, keep your book bag light, keep your back from breaking. You can't have that. No, we cannot. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This one is so... Do not take AP classes if you don't have to take them. If your school is not forcing you to take AP classes, do not take AP. Do not take AP. Look me in my eyes. Do not take AP classes, okay? Do not take AP classes because it is a scam. A scam. Taking AP classes, taking AP classes, you pay $96 just to get a ticket for the test. You learn for 10 months, nine months, some hard subject. You learn very hard subjects just to take a test on it. And if you fail that test, you don't get credit for the class. Where you see that at? Rich white people, scammers, okay? Do not take that test. Do not even sign up for APs. This past junior year, this past May, oh, God knew, God knew what he was doing because that AP bio test, if it wasn't online, I would not have gotten that three. Ciao. 
because Lord knows I only slept in that class. Don't sleep in classes. Don't get caught sleeping in classes. But who told you that though? Who told you? Not me. So, um, don't procrastinate. Please don't procrastinate, bro. Um, unless. Bless me. Oh, unless you work well under pressure, unless you work well when time is crunching, do not procrastinate. As soon as you get home, get your work done. As soon as you get home, you know, get a little studying in because that's when it's still fresh in your mind. Then you can watch Netflix. Then you can watch Hulu. Then you can watch YouTube. You can do all of that. As soon as you, um, get home oh my god just don't procrastinate your work don't procrastinate studying do not do it because you you have a big final as soon as you hear about it start studying start studying for that final start studying for that exam that quiz as soon as you hear about it start studying for it okay start studying for it also from the beginning of the year for those hard subjects make a master study guide if you take them APs that I told you not to take, to make a master study guide, so you can uh, refer to it. You have a unit test. You have everything written down by the unit. Everything every day after you have that class, when you come home, make sure you update that study guide because it's gonna be H E double hockey sticks when you have to cram and you're gonna be so stressful you don't need that nobody needs that nobody needs that make it hard for yourself work smarter not harder quizlet is available kahoot is a fun game to play quizlet online flashcard so you don't have to waste paper it's already made for you sometimes answers to quizzes are on there and answers to um homework is on there too because teachers like to be lazy and look online for their work and steal other teachers work so they can use it for their own it's there i'm not encouraging cheating i'm telling you do not cheat cheating is bad cheating is bad don't cheat but don't be afraid to ask for extra credit do not be afraid to ask for extra credit because say your grade is a 98.9 or a 99.9 .9, you're gonna want that 100 you're gonna want them to round up that grade ask them see if they can round up the grade say you didn't do so good on the test ask them for extra credit because they people be playing you excuse me people be playing you teachers be playing you they will really play the mess out of you. You better beg them. You better plead. If they say no, well, you try. at least you tried. At least you try to save your grade, save your average. People really be playing the mess out of you. That's why I don't mess with teachers. That's just that's the point, okay? Look in your school building for what classes they have. Because nine times out of 10, they just make a schedule for you. Not nine times out of 10, all the time. They just make a schedule for you and then you don't even know what's offered because they just hand you a schedule with the room number and everything. You don't even know what they have to offer. Make it your mission to how to know what they offer so you can try things out and you can see what you like and what you don't like and have fun in high school instead of just doing the core classes. Like that is so boring. That is so boring. Like, child, I'm do not struggle to ask for help if you don't know where your classes are upper, upper, upperclassmen will tell you where your classes are no reason why they shouldn't ask a school aide where classes are they should be able to tell you and lastly 
grades are not everything they do not define who you are people are not good sometimes people are not good test takers sometimes people are so good at doing like last minute work sometimes you spend your whole week preparing for the for your essay or you're studying for an exam but you still get like an average grade well compared to somebody who studied for five minutes and they get a better grade than you grades do not determine everything don't let that rule your life don't let that stress you out just do your best and you'll be okay you will get accepted into college you will do everything just do you will be a-okay trust me Ew. <laughs> okay, moving on to social. Social. Listen, y'all. Just first and foremost, just be yourself. Because everybody else is already taken. <laughs> just be yourself. Because... Why would you pretend to be somebody that you're not just to be friends with somebody? Bro, be yourself and you will naturally attract your kind of people. The people that God wants in your circle will be attracted to you. Don't go out looking for people that's not for you by being somebody that you're not. Because you will get yourself in trouble. You will get yourself in drama, okay? And that's another thing. Drama, don't do it. Don't start it. Don't make those start talking mess about people you don't even know. Because chances are they will probably bully the mess out of you. Not bully. Like don't don't start drama with people. Cause they will really like make your life a living hell. They really will. They really would. Depending on the person, but just don't start messing with people. Relationships. This is not High School Musical. No, it is not. This is not Disney Channel. No, it is not. This is not a Disney Channel original. This is not Geek Charming. You no, know this is. If you go into high school thinking that you will find the Gabriella to your Troy, you'll find the Taylor to your ch no, the Chad to your Taylor, the Taylor to your Chad. If you really find that you will find these people in high school. You ch you won't. No, you will not. You probably, nine times out of ten, you won't find them. So please stay out of them. Focus on yourself. Focus on your grades. Focus on your well-being, okay? Focus on that because that's the only thing you can focus on. That is the only thing you can focus on right now. That's the only thing you can afford to focus on because boys will always be there. Boys will stay boys. There are men waiting for you at the finish line, sweetie. And boys, girls, will say girls. There are women waiting for you at the finish line, okay? My non-binary folks, there is a finish line for y'all too. Don't get it twisted. Do not settle for less than what you deserve. You know your worth, okay? These are such givens, but be nice to people. Be nice. Smile. Show off them pearly whites. Okay, show off that pretty face, that handsome face. Show it off. Be nice to people, don't be rude. Cause, let me tell y'all, I was rude to this girl. I had dropped my ID freshman year and I was so rude to this girl. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad to this day. That she gave me back my ID and I was like, thank you. I said it so nasty. I, that was so ugly of me. And I said it so nasty. And I literally, I feel so bad for the way I said that to her. And she... She, she did not like me. She did not like me for a oh, while, for mad long. But we, we resolved the issue. Oh, she's so cute. Now we y'all be cool because I... I feel bad. I don't think I ever apologize. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry, girl. But I love her. Kisses. I love her so much. You might, you might not, I love love for everybody. And she's so beautiful. Kisses. Join clubs, chat. Join 
loves. Join clubs, join, do after school activities because you never know what you like to do. You never know what you, um, yeah, you never know what you like to do. You never know until you go. Better to have three close friends than 30 distant acquaintances because those people, those three friends you can count on, you can really talk to about your problems because you would just end up being some popular loner. Maybe it's a loner loner and there's nothing wrong with either. But I just think you should have at least like three, not at least, just have a couple close friends in your circle. Maybe so small that it's a triangle. Maybe so strong that it is a line, okay? Line segment that you can just trust and confide in when things get too crazy, things get too stressful, because then that'll lessen the stress because it's someone who knows what you're going through. So it'll be nice, you know? Do not focus on being popular. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. Just, and last but not least, enjoy high school. Have fun in high school because I can almost guarantee that when high school is over, you're going to miss it. And if you don't do anything fun, I feel like you're really going to regret it somewhere down the line. You're going to really be like, wow, I really wish I did more in high school. Anyway, so enjoy. Enjoy it while you're here. You got four years and then four years will go over, will be over like that. So keep your grades up. Keep your grades up. Keep your head held high. Walk in there with confidence. And... Be nice, stay organized, and have fun, or try to have fun. Oh, last piece of advice. If you're late, ain't no point in rushing. Ain't no point in rushing to school, because you're already late. Late is late, no matter how long it is. Late is late. If you are late, you're late might as well get food might as well get food if you're late because don't run and hurt yourself i mean okay in my head though if i'm like i'd rather be five minutes late than 30 minutes late but if i am 30 minutes late might as well make it 40 and go get food because i'm already late late and i might as well just not go to first period even though i never skipped the first period though but if you guys are late like late late might as well get food like it's really not that serious especially if it's like one time two times it's not that serious but don't be late oh don't make it a habit though don't make it a habit to be late do not make it a habit because it will mess you up in the future you'll get detentions if your school does that you will get detentions our school really be trying to find me like a dollar for a late no man I'm not paying y'all a dollar because I'm late. You're not getting my hard-earned cash. I can get an Arizona iced tea with that. I can get a honey bun with that. I can get a bag of chips with that. No, ma'am. Well, if you've made it this far to the end of the video, I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the first the video. If you really liked this video and you like my personality and you like the style of this video like my advice i would like you to like comment share and subscribe to see more of me every single week because i'm gonna start uploading saturdays at 3 p.m saturdays at 3 p.m so if you like to see more of me come back around on saturdays and check for my video Britachi. okay know the name know the face learn the name learn the face okay thank you thank you for watching see you next week bye pretties